Hi there, my name is Matt and today at Moulded Cords and Cables I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a few different rewirable plugs and sockets. Okay, so today we're going to be wiring up a European Shuko plug. This plug is used in most countries around Europe with the exception of a few such as Italy, Belgium and Switzerland which have their own plugs but other, every other country in Europe, well, most of them use, off the top of my head, use this Shuko plug. As you can see this is a this is a 16 amp rated 250 volt plug. It has a earth connection on the side and also an earthing socket which you'll find you'll need if you were using this plug in France or Belgium. Okay, this is part number. This is our part number STK9 by the way, which you can find on our website. So tools we're going to need for the job. Posi drive screwdriver outer sheath stripping tool and inner sheath stripper. Okay, so first things first, let's just open up the plug with my posi drive screwdriver. So now you can see the strain relief, which is held in by two screws. We'll, uh, we'll undo them. Undo one of them nearly all the way, and then the next one undo all the way. Take that screw out, put that down to one side, and just so that way you don't lose the strain relief. Now we have three different terminals in here, live, neutral and earth. Now for those of you who don't know, this European cables use a standard European colour coding which is, I'll show on the cable here, which one up here, green and yellow which is earth, blue which is neutral and brown which is live. Now in the plug, I'll undo this earthing screw as well, I'll undo this earthing screw completely actually. You can buy various different types of a uh, Shuko plug, but I think this one is one of the better ones to wire up. Some of them can be very tricky. So I'm undoing the neutral. Inside the plug, incidentally, you'll clearly see markings on this. We've got a neutral. You should be able to see. Might be able to see on the camera. Right there. So you've got a neutral in there and alive there so you can't get things muddled up. Okay, so first things first, always put, just for demonstration purposes actually, I'll get rid of this so we can start from scratch. Always put your grommet over the cable first. Last thing you want to be doing is wiring up the plug and then finding out at the end you forgot to put the grommet over. So undo your live and neutral, loosen them off, look in so you can see that you've uh, so when you put the inner cable in, the inner the core, copper core of the cable, it's not going to interfere, it's going to slot in nicely. So I can undo that as far as it can go without the screws falling out. Okay, now I want to basically line up the cable, approximately. For exact measurements, actually, there are wiring diagrams and cables, um, fact sheets on our website about how to wire up all our rewirable plugs and sockets which you can see on the www.mcc-cables.com it's our partner of SDK9 so with my outer sheath stripper I'm going to set, set the sheath stripper so it doesn't cut too, it's got a little blade in there I'm going to set it so it doesn't cut too deep into the outer sheath the last thing we want to be doing is going so far so far through the sheath that it's, it, it, uh, it cuts the inner sheath the blue white blue uh, brown and yellow so it's probably best to cut it set it a little bit too low because most PVC cable if I just go around there once like that will just snap basically like that you can hear it snapping so I've lined that up, measured that up roughly that's about right now with my inner sheath strippers live and neutral I'm going to measure it up roughly on there it's about 
six or seven mil. Set that on my cable strippers, which you can buy off our website as well. Very handy bits of kit to have if you do a lot of wiring, or just to have around the house if you ever wire up plugs and sockets. It's a good way of stripping cable safely without cutting through too far through the inner cores. So that's live neutral stripped. Now, one of the things with the this earthing connection is it's just a screw. So you have to, with this one, I have to strip the cable to about there. And then with the inner, I strip, I do quite a long strip. I do about 12 to 15 mil strip on the inner to the copper core. And I'll take the screw, offer it up to the inner core, the copper core, and wrap it round like that. And I place that in the plug, like so, with my screwdriver. Just screw it in. and tight. And with the other two, nice and simple, twist the ends up. Post them in into the terminals. And screw it up. It's live in. Remember live is brown. Neutral is blue. Like so. Fit. You don't want any copper core exposed. You want to push it right into the to the PVC sheath. Nice and neat. Put your strain relief over. Place the screw. Just offer the screw up for starters, like so. Before you tighten it right up, just get it in there a little bit. The screwdriver. But before you tighten it right up, move your grommet up and slot it in. Before tightening right up, now you can tighten it right up. So, then on goes the outer cover. And there we have it. One wired Shuko plug, STK9. As I said before, all our, all our wiring fact sheets are available on our website, MCC cables.com and you can find all the specs and how to wire up all our plugs online.